Hello, my name is Vivian Figueroa. I'm a senior at San Miguel High School here in Tucson. My lab mentor is Barra Vagnerovia, and she is a medical pharmacology PhD student. We work in Dr. Patrick Ronaldson's lab. The Ronaldson lab focuses on three topics associated with the blood-brain barrier. These are Alzheimer's disease, strokes, and pain and addiction. I'm part of the Alzheimer's disease team, and we collaborate with Dr. Ray Chain. So, my team's main question is, what are potential treatments for Alzheimer's disease? Given that there are currently millions of people with Alzheimer's disease, and it is the sixth leading cause of death in the United States, it is important that we try to find a cure for this irreversible disease that slowly destroys memory, thinking skills, and the ability to carry out the simplest tasks. To try to answer the main question on how to potentially cure and treat Alzheimer's disease, my lab must go through three stages. Stage one is in silico. Our research begins with gene expression data analysis. In this step, we pick a gene targets as well as small molecule drugs that might alleviate the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. Stage two is in vitro. In this second stage of our research, we check the impact of the genes or drugs that we picked in stage one on human brain cells grown in flasks. We determine which of our targets may prolong cellular life or help clear out the detrimental plaques that accumulate during Alzheimer's disease. Stage 3 is in vivo. As our final step, we test the drugs that showed some promise in stage 2 on mouse models. All this work is performed only by lab members who have been approved to do so by the IACUC protocol. This step enables us to study the effect of our potential therapeutic targets at a level of a whole organism, which is crucial if our findings are to advance to the clinical trials that determine the safety and efficiency of our targets in humans. My part of the project was to genotype mice so that we can ensure that in stage three studies, we will continue to use Alzheimer's disease mouse models with the correct genotypic background. This is an ongoing project and we are currently at stage three. We expect to have the results early next year. Thank you for watching.